my name is Reverend Patrick Oswansa, the CEO of Blessed Empire Kenna. Keep watching GH Dog TV and don't forget to subscribe to our channels. The Lord bless you. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. Welcome to GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. If you are new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at gh dog blogger now dog lovers i'm sure you are seeing this beauty right here with me today i'm getting up close with two dog lovers yes recently i saw somebody in the comment section asking solo one why aren't you doing the dog lovers interviews anymore and all of that today i'm right here with two dog lovers but then before i get to them let me acknowledge our proud sponsors bravek to chew bravek to chew your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestations you've seen ticks on your dogs fleas mites just go to any pet shop or you pick up the contact details on our screen and you get bravek to chew and after giving your dog one tasty soft bravek to chew they are going to be free from ticks mites and fleas infestations for 12 good weeks bravecto can be given to breeding dogs lactating dogs pregnant dogs as well as puppies from eight weeks of age and then we are also proudly sponsored by Josira, Josira, Josira pet food the pet food with a passion you have dogs cats puppies you want the right dog food for them very nutritious pick the contact details on our screen or when you go to any pet shop ask of Josira, puppy milk dry food wet food just link up and you're going to love it and the beautiful thing about them is they also have got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now dog lovers before we get right into today's show let's go for a quick break we'll be back shortly my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger don't go anywhere having trouble dealing with ticks mites and fleas infestations on your dogs use bravecto chew just give your dog one tasty soft bravecto chew and they will be free from ticks mites and fleas for 12 good weeks visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of bravecto chew now for wholesale and retail contact 0243 554 612 remember bravecto chew may be used in pregnant breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from eight weeks of age bravecto chew your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas, and mites infestations. Okay, dog lovers, welcome back from that quick break. Just as I told you earlier on today, I'm right here with two dog lovers. Yes, they are two sisters, two beautiful ladies right here. And they are dog lovers. The first time I chanced upon one of these sisters was on Instagram. I noticed that I was tagged in a video and I saw this lady with a Rottweiler at her back and I'm like wow and looking from her videos and all of that you could see the passion she had for dogs and all of that now dog lovers allow me to introduce my guests for today's show welcome to the show thank you very much my name is Ohusu Wampong Gloria I'm 20 years of age I completed the Asantua Girls in high school which year was it this year completed um last year 2021 nice one i love that dog lovers i have this beautiful lady right here and i have her sister here too um, i'd like you to also introduce yourself to my dog lovers the name is Ousubwam Pondebora. I'm a third year biological science student at KNUST and i'm also a dog lover nice one dog lovers two sisters and they all have love for dogs isn't it beautiful today the conversation is going to be very very interesting and now let me let me start with gloria gloria i think um the first time i chanced upon you was that video of you on instagram like wh what was really happening <laughs> you see i love dogs very much i'm very emotional and then they they are like my comforters so they are always closer to me 
I told my sister that I wanted to put her name is Esmeralda. I wanted to put Esme behind my back so she should help me out with it. So immediately that she helped me out, then they took a video of me. <laughs> I didn't know they, they took a video of me. Then I was shy. So I didn't want to post it. So I think on my birthday last year, um, my DM, most of I was the choir president in our school, so I'm very well known. So a few of my friends posted it and then it went viral. Everybody was like, this girl, what's wrong with her? The way she treats girls, sometimes most of the comments, they were harsh, but I don't care because they don't know what I get from them. So I was like, the dog blogger. I went to meet this man, so maybe I have been praying about it on Alpha. It's always my prayer point on Alpha that I want to meet you. I want to have an interview with you, take pictures with you, travel around the world with you around dogs. So then well, immediately I sent you the video and then you commented. I was like, boom, <laughs> it's a jackpot. So then I told my, my brother, my mom, everybody was so happy. I was like, I can't wait to find him with you. So that's how come. This is this is beautiful dog lovers. I I hope you just heard it from here. And I'm I'm really surprised right here. I'm 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 loving it. You know, um, I think I was just there one time, and then um, I was going through my DMs on Instagram, and I saw you had sent me a video of a of a dog. So I checked out the video. I'm like, wow! I saw the dog. I think it was a Rottweiler puppy at your back. So I think I even reposted it, and the comments that were coming. I think for the dog lovers, they really understand it and all of that. And I, I'm, I'm, I really, I really love it, I'm, and I'm glad that this interview is happening <laughs> and all of that. So now, to start with, let's pick it up from this point. How did your love for dogs start? Um, I was born with it. I like nature naturally. That's how I am. So it started with a chicken. My my mother had a friend. He gave us two um, chickens. Um, it was. They were two females, so my, my older sister took the larger one and then she gave me the smaller one. So um, as for the her, hairs, she wouldn't stay at home. She would be always roaming about and then mine would be at home and then she would be able to lay her eggs. So it was like mine was expanding and then hers wasn't. So I, I usually used to tease her with it. So I remember when, whenever it rains, we would go and look for them wherever they are my brother my sister who we'll make sure we get every chick of us because we don't want them to get missing they will bring them home then my brother would dry blow them with the hair dryer and then they also had um, a box which they used to sleep in it with a mosquito net covered so that they wouldn't fall sick so my brother also had a poultry farm so um the sick ones he would isolate them and then bring them to me to take care of them so he started from that place and i told him i wanted to be a veterinarian when i grew up and then he was like i can do it my love for animals then when he rented this place he knew i was the right person to help him so immediately i my first dog was called Kapo. so i came he told me he had a puppy here i should come i came to meet Kapo. And then that was it. He became my my everything. Let me say my boyfriend because he was a female. He was a male. Uh -huh. So that was it. So unfortunately, um, Kapu died. And he was one of the dogs who was very close to me. Because I have been with him since he was a puppy. Then took care of him till... He died and I worked so hard. It was my sister who consoled me. I'll, I'll let us get to um, the story of Kapo and how old you were when you got Kapo and all of that. But then let me let me get to your sister right here as well. <laughs> you're the big sister, right? Yeah, I'm the big sister. Now let me let me pick it up from yours as well. How how did your love for dogs also start? You would see videos of dogs all over the internet and it's mostly of white people. You see they are bonding with the animals and over here we are scared of dogs. That's the thing. So it's it's rare for you to see someone bonding with a dog and all that. And I was naturally scared of dogs. So she used to live here with my brother and then 
when I came here for the first time, Hawk was here. And with her stage and everything, honestly, I panicked. I didn't want to come close. But I realized behind the tough exterior and everything, she was very gentle. She was calm and she was loving. So I was like, let me get close to her and see. So I did. And then I realized they are just lovely animals. You have to just go close to them and you're going to fall in love with them instantly. So my love began with Hawk. Yes, she showed me that. They are, they are adorable animals. They are just adorable. Wow. So if I'm getting a wall, um, you were actually scared of dogs. I was, I was super scared of them because I just couldn't get close to them. Yes. What do you think caused the fear? Was it because of their size or you had heard stories about dogs, negative stories about dogs and all that? It's always the negative side. It's always the negative sometimes when you take them out for walks you see people see you and they don't want to come close because naturally they know the dog will bite and there's always the scale of getting rabies and all that so it sank in and because we didn't grow up with a dog we weren't used to them being around so when my brother bought them and he wanted us to come help i didn't she was already here i was in school and i came home during vacation and the dog was here and just imagine someone meeting a dog for the first time and it's not a puppy it's already a big dog what if she doesn't know me what if she pounces on me so i did not want to come close but then i tried i came close and i realized they are just adorable that's all i can say maybe somebody would be would be watching this video right now and um Maybe they are also afraid of dogs. They were like, so how, how, how were you able to, because people sometimes come to message me, ask me, how are you able to flow with the dogs and all that? How were you able to interact with Since some, you are somebody who was scared of the dogs and getting to meet an already grown up dog, not even a puppy. How were you able to just in and out there? Okay, so first I had to know what breed it was because they have temperaments and all of that. And so when I realized it was a mastiff. I read about it and I realized they were gentle. And Gloria was here already. My brother was here already with the dog. So I had to find a way to also <laughs> introduce myself. And one thing he would tell you is, if you are scared, they feel your fear. So don't let the dog feel you are afraid of it. So I had to mask up my fear and then go closer to it. So right in front of the door, I started calling her Hawk, Hawk, and I realized the two was wagging, which was a sign that I could get close. So I go closer to her. She brought her big head, and then I pet it, and I realized she wasn't being aggressive. So like my fears and everything I laid, and then I could play with it. So I felt like, okay, you have to try and get close to the dog. It's a fear we all have to overcome. Because if you cannot get close to the dog, how can the dog build that trust and bond with you? So when she realized I wasn't in to harm her and I just wanted to be affectionate, she also gave in. So it was a mutual something. Yes, and that's how I overcame my fear for dogs. Wow, I, 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 I love this right here. Now, if, if you're watching us and you're still scared of dogs, it's, it's not too late. <laughs> if the boy is a big dog lover now. Trust me, it's not it's not too late. Now let me let me get to Gloria. So um from your big sister's um what from her comment she made earlier on, it looks like you fell in love with dogs first ahead of her. I was just like I said, it's a natural thing. It's within me. I love nature and this, especially dogs. So I wasn't afraid of it. I wanted to get so close to them and then they understand me because I'm very emotional. So immediately they get closer to me. I feel like I have a human being beside me. She's my sister. She's my younger sister. So. And I think even before we started the interview, that was off camera. Your sister was telling me that um, sometimes when you're even watching TV and you're watching the wildlife, when you see the other animals pouncing on the animals, you can't watch it. You become so emotional and all. I would never watch it. Immediately I see her watching the documentaries. I would tell her to turn off the television because I'll end up crying. I'll be like, I wish I was there, the tiger. They're taking advantage of the other animals. It's not fair. Like cow, they are supposed to. They should eat something like the grasses, just like the other animals. So why are they devouring other animals? So I would never watch it. And then sometimes you see, um, they'll be in need of something in the forest. 
and then they will be suffering. Maybe their babies are missing. Maybe they are somewhere. They are trapped. And I'll be like, dear God, I really want to go there and then help them, but I can't. So I would never ask for I documentaries. I would never watch it. Never. I will cry. <laughs> now, if I'm getting a walk, the love cuts across. It's not just for dogs. You really have a soft spot. For animals. For every animal. Every animal deserve love. If you get closer to them, and then they have a big heart like us. So if you show them the care and attention, just like you show your fellow um, human beings, you see that they will crave for you just like you crave for them. So that's why I like every animal. Nice one. This is beautiful. So earlier on, before um, I went to Deborah, you were talking about your first dog. That was Kapo. Can you tell us more about that particular dog, you know? And w which age did you get that dog, you know? I think I was in GHS3, so let me say 18 years or something like that. I, my brother called me. I was supposed to go for classes, but immediately I heard that there was a dog here. I told my dad that I can't go. I have to go in for the dog because I can take care of the dog. So I came and then I realized that and the mother sat on him, so one of his legs was fractured. So we took it to the vet veterinarian person and then he didn't fix it well, so it became worse. Then my brother was like, we have to treat it, maybe we can do it. So I used to bath him every day and then one thing about them is when, whenever I bath them, I apply coconut oil on their skin to make them look shiny. So when you, you come and meet couple on my laps, then I'll be cuddling him, singing him um, lullaby. He'll be all over the place with me, Kapu, Kapu, Kapu. So Kapu was very closer to me than anybody else. Because from birth, from, um, since he was a puppy, I was the one always around him. Then unfortunately he died, so his leg, they had to um, amputate it and then that he was suffering actually you could see the dog was suffering not being able to move around and all that so we had to let him go slowly we had to let the vets come in and then put him down to end his suffering because he was a shadow of himself this isn't the couple we grew up with and then we just had to let him go yeah sadly this is this is very sad but it it sometimes happens. I know my, my dog lovers really understand these situations. Yes, it it it, it sometimes happens and all. So So um how many dogs do you have currently in this? I don't know who to ask this question. <laughs> I okay. think I've, I've calculated that one. Um we have fourteen right now, but all of them are known this compound, yes. For here we have three roads wireless, um three boa bulls, and then one Caucasian. Hawk is just visiting, she doesn't live with us. And then where Hawk is, we have two Caucasians, we have one Rottweiler, and then we have a Boomer Stiff, and then Hawk herself. Wow, so if, if, if I'm getting it was actually a family of... Family, a very big one, and everyone has their own place. We get time for everyone, they get the same attention and care because it's passion driven. What we are doing is passion driven. You cannot devote your time and attention if you don't love what you are doing. So, it's an all inclusive something. My mom, my dad, my brothers, all of us, everyone is involved in this one making sure that the dogs are cared for and they get all the love and attention they deserve yes even coming here i've seen your big brother he's in the background big shout outs to you boss man big shout outs to you right here and mommy as well it's, it's very beautiful family of dog lovers i'm sure i'm sure you're loving the conversation right here dog lovers and there's this beauty right here too we'll get to my favorite part where we check out some of the dogs in this house but then if you are new on our channel you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content if you want gh dog tv to visit your kennels veterinary hospital pet shop and what i've just picked the contact details on our screen just pick it up and then you follow us on all of our social media handles gh dog blogger facebook instagram twitter and tiktok now this 
episode is probably sponsored by Josira pet food the pet food with a passion you have dogs you're looking for the nutritious feed for them they've got wet food dry food poppy milk trust me they've even got food for cats as well just pick the contact details on our screen or when you go to any pet shop ask of any product from Josira dog food and trust me it's very nutritious your dogs are going to love it and the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic and then we are also probably sponsored by Bravecto Chew Bravecto Chew your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestations recently one of our viewers just got Bravecto Chew and then they just hit me up they're like wow the Bravecto Chew is very effective if you've got dogs and you've seen ticks fleas and mites infestations on them just go to any pet shop or pick the contact details on our screen and get Bravecto Chew. And after giving your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew, they are going to be free from ticks, fleas, and mites infestations for 12 good weeks. You can give Bravecto to breeding dogs, lactating dogs, pregnant dogs, as well as puppies from eight weeks of age. Now, let me get to my beautiful guest right here. I'm sure you're loving the conversation and also loving this beautiful dog right here, too. So, now, um, let me get to you, Gloria. So from the earlier conversation, if I'm getting a boy, it's actually your big brother who buys all of these dogs. Yeah, it's actually him. He initiated this whole thing. So he tells us maybe when the dogs are in, hello, um, Gloria, maybe this dog is in. I want you guys to come over and then take care of them. And then he trusts us so well. So he can maybe travel maybe for a whole year without even calling to check up because he knows we can take care of them. Yeah. He's done amazing because he started his first dog, he bought it in 2017 and it was actually a local dog sold to him as a foreign dog. He didn't know much about it and whoever he bought it from wasn't too honest. And after selling that one, the, the next one he bought, apparently she couldn't give birth and then he didn't know but some way somehow he still went on it's all like a waste of money because you are spending and then you're not getting in return but i think it's passion driven like i said so he still went on and on and from then we have this big family here right now so i want to say thank you to him for making a family of dog lovers because it all started with him and thanks to him we are spreading the love. Most of the people that know us are coming in and they want to know more. How did you do it? You make it so beautiful. You make it so nice. It all started with him. He started this whole movement. Yes. As he's, he's watching this video right now, he's, he's very, very proud of you for, for, for this amazing job you are doing right here. Now, let's get to how you, you take care of them and all of that. How, how do you do it? Let's talk about their feeding and all of that. So, they, 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 they eat twice a day and then we make sure it's chips plus chicken and then some cooked rice. And then they are all cooked under hygienic places so that they won't be infected. And then every morning too, they take their folic acid and then their vitamins. And then every Sunday too, I make sure I bath them, and cut their, their nails, then make sure, and then apply coconut oil too on their skin to make them look shining and then very beautiful. If, if I get it well, since your sister is mostly in school, you do most of this work, you know? Yeah. I, I love doing it. All those sometimes when you're batting them and then you tell them to sit, they would never sit. Sometimes you can run around the house, but I don't get tired. It's passion. I like doing it. So I can, even if they are 14, I can bath every one of them. Then I do what I did to the previous ones, to all of them, and then cage them and make sure they are. They have enough water in their cage. Sometimes when there are mosquitoes, we, we try and get them um, mosquito nets all over their cages. Sometimes quail, before they get into the cage, sometimes we spray the, the places before they get inside so that they wouldn't be infected. We deworm them, 
when they need to be vaccinated, we make sure they are vaccinated, anti-rabies and everything. We, we do everything, just like, as I said, she's my sister. So dogs are human beings to me. They are better than some human beings because they are grateful. Whatever you do to them, they appreciate it. But unlike some other humans, you see, they won't appreciate it. They will end up hurting you. And the, the, the dog here, when they see me crying, they will get close to me. And they will, they will try, Esme will try and lick you so many times that you end up making you laugh. And then try and sit beside you or try and play with you so that you'll be okay. So as for my dogs, even if I marry, my husband has to understand that my house will be full of dogs, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> So I don't know him wherever he is. Yeah, I'm telling you this today. Wherever you are, yeah, when we get married, my house is going to be full of dogs, whether you like it or not. Because my dogs are just like me, so you have to treat them just like me and I understand me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Wherever you are and you're watching, this is a special message to you. So just get ready <laughs> dog lovers I'm, I'm, I'm loving the conversation right there with these two beautiful sisters yes and they are they are dog lovers and they are spreading the love across now Deborah let me get to you very soon we'll be wrapping up the interview and all of that I'd like you to share your experience with living with dogs I know it's not been long since you became a dog lover but you've really grown to become a passionate one can you can you share some of the experience with my dog lovers it's it's a whole journey on its own <laughs> emotions are involved because you grow so much love for the dog i remember my first dog billy yeah. i lost him to pavo and i was new to this whole thing and it was heartbreaking for me they are loving sometimes i just sit down and i wonder how they have emotions they show affection and my brother will bring all the interviews and documentaries he can find and we realize they show love and they actually love you and you see it in them when you come back from work and they are all over you it's just nice it's been an amazing journey and you want more you just don't get enough you you like to have all the dogs in the world in your house and get to play with them all around. So it's been an amazing journey so far. A roller coaster of emotions, but it has been worth it every single step of the way. And we don't regret getting our first dog. And we can't wait to add up. <laughs> I love that part. I, we can't wait to add up. So that means we should be expecting more and more dogs. Gloria, um, we, are, we are wrapping up the interview very soon. I love you to look into our cameras. Tell tell my dog lovers something about why they should love dogs and then I'll let you say your final message and all of that. So the reason why you should love dogs are dogs they have a big heart here. They have a heart like us and when you get closer to them and then you show them all the loving and caring, they will still they will show the same thing to you. They are not supposed to be treated like garbage or anything they are human beings just like us and the one thing that i want to do that is on my mind is i want to change africans perception especially ghana about how animals are handled because i don't like to see whether the local dogs whether the foreign dogs i want them to be vaccinated deworm the local dogs get them places save them and then change our perception about I'm dogs because they are human beings just like me. You see how pretty I am. That's how beautiful dogs are too. So treat them like me. You treat me nice, so treat the dogs too. Treat them nice. For me, okay. Thank you. Nice. So now let me get to Deborah as well. As she also um, as you also tell us your, your final words and you know? all. Okay, so what I want to tell everyone out there is just get a puppy, okay? Just get one and then feel how it's like to care for something you love and see it bundle all that love you've put into it and give it right back to you. And what amazes me is the fact that they are willing to put their life on the line for you. Because supposing an armed robber enters here right now with a gun, 
they are willing to protect you even if it means getting shot i mean i wouldn't do that for gloria i might even run before <laughs> exactly they come they'll fight. run for your life but then this animal is so loyal to the extent that it would die if it means saving your life. I mean, that's a big, a grand gesture. I mean, Jesus Christ is the only one that has put his life on the line for humanity, and dogs are willing to do that for their ownness. So just get a puppy, okay, and then grow with it, care for it, and you will see that you would, you would just love them. They are loving. Behind the tough exterior and the backing and everything is just a heart that is waiting to receive all the love and affection you can give it. So just give it a try. You come back and testify. I'm pretty sure of that. Nice one, dog lovers. I'm sure you love the conversation right here with these two beautiful sisters. Now, we're getting to my favorite part where we check out the names of the dogs and all of that. But before we go, I'd like you to drop out your social media handles. Yeah. And all. So we are on Instagram and um, TikTok um, as um, Melanin Kennel. So you can just Anywhere that you go, you just type in the name Melanin Kennel. Then you see me there with Esme behind me, Survivor licking me, just me on my bed, and then anything that you love to see about stocks. Beautiful. So if I'm, if I'm getting a wall, maybe sometime in the future is going to be a kennel where you'll be breeding top quality dogs and all of that every whether i want every animal to be loved and cared for so that's why earlier i said i would change the perception africans our perception about dogs so even if i'm supposed to get a big compound where local dogs will be there and then the foreign will, will be there i'll be very much happy about it so any type of dog all dogs be dogs. <laughs> it's it's in the pipeline. We are putting hairs together to make sure that it, it becomes a kennel and then we can finally join the big boys like ammonia kennels and all that. So we are still doing negotiations and then discussions. So in the near future, Melanin Kennel would be home to stay and we will spread the love of dogs all around. Nice one, dog lovers. I'm sure you, you heard it from the two sisters right here. They've got beautiful plans. And I know it's not just going to be about dog breeding. It's going to be about everything that is related with animal rescue, all of that. So just watch this face, dog lovers. Now, dog lovers, this is where we, we, we get to my favorite part, where we check out the names of the dogs and all of that. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Don't go anywhere. We get to my favorite part. Having trouble dealing with ticks, mites, and fleas infestations on your dogs? Use Bravecto Chew. Just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew and they will be free from ticks, mites, and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto Chew now. For wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto Chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto Chew, your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas and mite infestations. Okay, so dog lovers are mad. My favorite power, we check out the names of the dogs and all of that. Now, let me get to Gloria. I've seen you've got these puppies right here and then we have this big girl here too so um the one on my right it's a male he's called jack and then the other one is a female she's called daisy and then we have hulk hulk is this one then we have esmeralda we have harriet we have antoinette we have maya we have star we have maputu we have wonders. I think my sister would continue with it. Yes, and there's Hawk right here. So what what influenced the name Hawk? Hawk came in as a big dog. So we took the name from the previous owner. We didn't change it. So we maintained it. So when she came, she had Hawk and she has been Hawk since she came. Yes. What, what do you love about Hawk? Hawk is gentle. When you look at her stature, you run away, but... She <laughs> you just have to come close and then that is it. And I like the fact that 
when you are with her, you feel big because no one wants to come close. So use it to when you know people. <laughs> yes, that's why I, lo- I love her. I love her. I just love her. It's like she she has this intimidating look and all. But then she's very sweet and very very gentle. Yes. Nice. So what what would you, what would you also say about Hawk too? Hawk. The same thing, just like she said. When immediately you enter the house, she has some pose. There. <laughs> she will sit there and then her face. She will change the way her face is. So immediately you enter, you'll be like, Jesus, come on, come on, come on, I don't know. But immediately she, she knows that we know you. She'll be so calm and then she wouldn't even back at you. So, king, 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 that's how she is. Nice one, dog lovers. Now let's check out Hulk right here. Very beautiful, magnificent dog right here. Nice one. Okay, so we have another dog right here. Dog lovers, check this beauty out. Uh huh. Um, so I have Jasmine here, and um. Tiana and this is Grace Eater. I named them. Um, the name comes naturally. You see, sometimes you see someone and you can guess the person's name without knowing it. Uh huh. So the minute you see the dog now, nah, you're like, nah, this dog there, Grace Eater will fit her and it just fits. So that is Grace Eater and then Jasmine and then Tiana. Yes. Dog lovers, check out Grace Eater right here. Very beautiful female too. Wow. What, what, what do you love about Grace Eater? Let me get to you. She's very playful. And then she'll she act like she's a lady. Sometimes the way she'll walk, the way she'll sit in her cage. But immediately you give her food. Five seconds. You come and check. Then she'll be standing there smiling and then salivating. She wants more. Then you give her another one. She eats. You give her another one. she never gets satisfied. she never gets satisfied. I saw a dog lover. Check out this beautiful female right here. Okay, dog lovers, and we have these two beauties right here too. Now let me let me start with Gloria. Her name is Harriet. And then she's a Rottweiler. I think she's a year and then I think six months or maybe, let me say two or three, I'm not sure of it. And then they are very stubborn. As for the right, uh, it works wireless. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know the right word for them. They, will, uh, they can chew the walls. Anything that they get hold of, they will chew it. Just like as I was saying, they are very stubborn though, but they are very nice to play with. They like playing, as you can see Ojo right here. You can see that she's playing with my big sister here. They are very friendly too. They, when you work with them too, it's like everybody wants to see these dogs. All that we know are bulldogs, bulldogs. So when they see you working with these black dogs, they'll be asking, which breed is this? Nice one. Can you, can you tell us something about this dog too? She's called Josephine. My brother named after himself. He's called Joseph. So Joseph, Josephine. And they are playful. I would say they are they are the security of this house. They bark a lot. They are the reason why people know there are dogs in this house. But behind the tough exterior, you know that they are loving and all that. If you leave anything anywhere, don't make sure that they tell you that you don't leave this here because you will come and then <laughs> we chew it. So they keep us in check. You know, say nah, if I leave this thing here with Ojo around. It won't end well. Yeah, so they are very nice dogs too. Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one dog lovers. Check out these beauties right here. I'm sure I'm sure you love today's episode on GH Dog TV. Today I visited this beautiful family, two beautiful sisters who are dog lovers. And I'm sure you love the conversation the dogs and all of that dog lovers in case you are new on our channel you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content and then you also follow us on all of our social media handles on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok 
at gh dog blogger in case you want to link up with gh dog tv pick the contact details on our screen 055 328 4056 055 328 4056 you are probably sponsored by Josira Pet Food, the pet food with a passion, made in Germany, very nutritious. They've got dog food, puppy food, puppy milk, cat food, wet food, sauces, and what have you. So if you go to any pet shop, ask of any product from Josira Pet Food, and trust me, you're going to love it. Pick the contact details on our screen and link up with them. And the beautiful thing is, they've also got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic and then we are also probably sponsored by bravecto chew bravecto chew bravecto chew your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestations you've seen ticks fleas mites on your dogs just go and get bravecto chew at any pet shop or pick the contact details on our screen and after giving your dog one tasty soft bravecto chew they're going to be free from ticks mites and fleas infestations for 12 good weeks. Bravecto can be given to breeding dogs, pregnant dogs, lactating dogs, as well as puppies from eight weeks of age. This is what we have for you today on GH Dog TV. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Catch you another time. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.